You gonna do like an intro and stuff? Yes. Gotcha. This is part of the intro right now. It's it's in the video. That's kind of cool. So so I shouldn't say like penis and stuff. Uh, you can say anything but penis. Damn it. Okay. Didn't realize you put the the clamps down on me. This video. Yeah. I I, I didn't realize you were such a censor. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Bengal again here. I'm joined by Gut Fox, as you may already be able to tell. His link will be in the top line of the description. And Gut Fox is one of the best players on YouTube as far as you know creators go, and also at the game. You're very you're very good. What do you usually go in weekend league? It doesn't. It, it. I mean, you don't have to give fake news right away. I like being. <laughs> but you don't have to. You don't have to leave these people wrong. I mean, they're, they're, they're just. Stop that. These these um, are facts, though. Yeah, I've only played weekend league twice because I just don't have that much time on the weekend. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, first weekend league I was fifth uh, with twenty three and two, and then second time I think I got like twenty seventh. So a little Decent. bit worse. On the Decent. downside, I decided to give it up. Yeah, I feel like if you kept on going, you'd be you know at that rate, you would keep dropping at that percentage. You'd be like fucking bronze. Yeah, I, I, really I, like long. I said, I'm terrible. You're, you're overselling me here. Yeah, that is, that is true. But if you guys want to check him out for player reviews and things like that, his link will be in the description. But today we're going to be building my team. I have close to 15 million coins, and I've asked Gut Fox. I've gave him a couple of parameters in order to build a team around. I don't know many of the players, so a lot of it's going to be a surprise for me. And um, with the amount of coins that I have, I manipulated the market when uh, EA had that team of the week screw up. I made like, what, 7 or 8 million coins something in that neighborhood so i did that's, profit that's quite insane. a bit it is yeah um i'm so jealous you know who's not of me like come on <laughs> have you that's, seen my sub count that is Unbelievable. true have, i'm a super you have a bangle wall yeah <laughs> every time I, I got like i got one of those uh rotating things that has like your number on the right and my number on the left and yours is always going up faster than mine so yeah um, it's, yeah you know. it's no no one can be me except me it's you know it's, it's a travesty that, that's the biggest shame in the world however you know all jokes aside i don't know much of this team we're gonna overspend on some players for the course of the video it's gonna be more aesthetically pleasing even if i lose a couple hundred k shout out to ea for hooking me up uh they deposit coins in my account every once in a while i'll just i'll shoot someone a message i'll go hey rex my coins are looking a bit low i'm under 10 yeah. mil and it'll be like, all right i got you with the influx but um that's very that's very generous of you to, to say that because many YouTube creators that do take stuff from EA don't say that and don't put that in the videos. No, I do. I do. I yeah. take a lot of coins. You're, they give me that, points to open packs. It's a great. That's that's why you're the best, Bangle. That's why we're all looking yeah. up to you. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's... with this offense, where are we starting? All right. Let's do the offensive line first. Let's get the hogs. So we're gonna we're gonna flash back right away. Uh, one of the best left tackles in the league, if not the best, Tyron Smith's flashback. Ooh. Left tackle. Go grab him. He is actually my favorite left tackle in the NFL. I have favorites uh, at every position because I'm a freak. He's currently going for 231K. Snatch it. Ground and pound, or pound the rock times two. Mm -hmm. And we will build around chemistry a little bit, so that ground and pound times two helps us get... We only need tier one ground and pound, because tier two only helps running backs, and our running back will not have ground and pound. So we just want to get it on our, a couple of our offensive linemen to get the one plus one run block. So um, his mud head average price is 227, so 231 is a great price for him. Yeah, 90 strength, price. 88 run block, 93 pass block with 90 impact blocking. Also, 74 speed is uh, pretty quick. An 84 acceleration, not that it really matters a ton for left tackles yeah. or tackles at all. It's not more guard speed much. that we worry about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good bully. first edition. Yeah. All right, let's 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 keep flashing back to uh, the bully, uh, Mr. Incognito at left guard. Richie um, Incognito, the beast, the bully. Jonathan now, Martin's favorite player. <laughs> now, the reason we have this Incognito instead of the much superior choice of Twitch Prime uh, who, who is it? Matthews? Twitch Prime Bruce Matthews. Matthews, yeah. W would be a very similar card to this Incognito, but you said before the podcast that you accidentally added to him instead. Yes, before the podcast, which is what this is. I, uh, I did oh, say did I say podcast? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Whenever I'm on Skype, Force I'm on a, a habit, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, the last podcast with me on it didn't go so well with my audio. I'm a Texas fault, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You don't obviously. screw up. Come on, Bangle. You don't have to say that, obviously, because we all know it. So we it's all know. Given. But yeah, Richie Incognito picked him up for 206k. Okay, solid price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is a. Uh, uh, all right. Instead of the flashbacks, let's move on to the center position. Oh, okay. Ro Rodney Hudson. Ooh. Okay. He's a mud we're gonna, hero. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to, unfortunately, because Identified is such a powerful chemistry, and it is on no auctionable, uh, we could get a left tackle with it, but I, it's, I, we need to go NAT with this, unfortunately. I do not recommend powering up any card, and this will be the only one that I'm gonna NAT you on your roster. So we're gonna have to go with the power up tier um, for Rodney Hudson. What does Rodney Hudson usually go for? Rodney Hudson is regular price. That is something I will have to look up here quick. 94 run block, 89 pass block, 91 impact blocking for him. Very solid run blocking offensive lineman there at center. Yep. Yep, and along with that, yeah, this is uh, he normally goes for 355. I will purchase him for 360 in that case. Okay. And not feel too badly about it. Again, yeah, with the amount of coins I've made, I feel like it's just free players at this point pretty much. Essentially, and the, the the unfortunate part about these mud heroes is that like if we bought right before uh, black uh, what was it Halloween's promo came out, that would have been like what two hundred something. It's, yeah, it's to amazing. Like two ninety, something yeah. like that. He was and, lower. And I did. We, me and Bengal did talk before this that it would have been better buying this on like th say Thursday right before the Thanksgiving promo or during the Thanksgiving promo. But uh, Bengal is a man of action, and he wanted <laughs> to do this right away. Yeah, busy schedules. I got a lot of business arrangements. Dude, it's, it's, it's hard it. being a star, man. We all know. It is. Uh, my Hollywood Walk of Fame star should be coming in any day now. Although I don't trust the West Coast, so that's really been the only halt on that. So, really? Yes. West Coast, hey. What's, what do you got against the West Coast? East I, Coast versus West Coast? I don't trust the West Coast. There's something about it. So what's your thoughts on Tupac? Uh, I'm a biggie guy. So. Wow. So the, where were you in 1997, Bengal? Um, I was young. That's that's yeah. for sure. I was not yeah. too involved in the beef. Uh, I'll remember in my mother's womb. Really? Yeah, I, it was the shot hurled round, heard round the world pretty much. And, uh, <laughs> so you had to line up her, her vagina with, I guess it was 96. You had to line up her vagina with uh, Tupac's chest, huh? Moving on. Okay. <laughs> right tackle. Uh, do, you, are, are you, are you, do we, uh, do we play a right guard or no? We just... Well, what, what, I, I, I was bullshitting because it takes a while to power up a player. Okay. I, w I have not powered him up yet. Okay. I was, well, I was still on. We'll do that at the end. Okay, sure. All right, right guard, another mutt hero. This might be your favorite right guard in the league, Zach Martin? Uh, it's not. I can't have too many Cowboy favorite players. Okay. But we will go ahead and... Uh... <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, I just got the weirdest email. It's it's uh, it says your age. How old are you? <laughs> you are age, and then like uh, a weird, you know, one of those like big circles. There's and there's how old, and then the letters are you. I got that sent to my business email. <laughs> so I'm sorry. So how are you, how are you gonna respond to that? I'm that not. Like, I'm no? not. That's that's a that's a red flag. Um, I'm 37. Moving on Dude. to right guard, though, Zach Martin is at 310, yeah. 300, actually. Yeah, a little higher than his normal price, but it's he normally goes to 277, but that's 300. Yeah. yeah, that's that's not too bad. That's 30k. It's yeah, it's it's whatever. Um, he's got good run block. Oh, oh and, and and talking about that email, you know, you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take, Bangle. I think you should take it. <laughs> what am I getting there from? I'm not even going to say his name, but I mean, there's nothing there for me. Maybe that suits your fancy, but not not mine. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, this is Madden 18. You know, long shots are a thing. They That's can work. True. Devin Wade got drafted. He you, did, you, and you, he went to the best college of all time, which I'm sure played a huge role in that. What are you talking about? He didn't. He went hook, to Texas. Hook 'em horns, baby. Best college of all time. Star if, quarterbacks if like college, Vince Young, you your Colt McCoy. You change your accent to, to talk about it. <laughs> Man, I have no idea you? what you're talking about. I reckon you just made that up. No, no. Uh, all right. All right. Fine. Well, okay, okay. I could, I could, I could try a slow, slow southern drawl, too. But this is more Mississippi than Texas, though. You know, I, I just I just basically impersonate uh, Andy from uh, The Office. Where you gotta get, that's low southern. Ah, I can't do it. Never mind. I'm going to try it. It's, I'm, 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 I'm laughing too hard. Yeah, my favorite is the Louisiana, where you get, man, I say uh, a good right tackle like Rick Wagner could be great on our team. I wasn't great, but, but uh, whatever. No. NASA, it, it, it's a Dan Deodor. It's who we're going to go with. <laughs> Dan Deodor. <laughs> Holy shit, he's expensive. 
499k. We're gonna pull yeah, the trigger four, though. Four, four, 480 should be. No, no, no. Make sure you get the right one. The pound of rock cam, right? I did not look at all, and uh, I bit the bullet hard. That's something I can change later. Um, but Dan Deerock the is the guy. I you got the, you got the wrong cam. I got overexcited, and I prematurely. The, the only pound the rock deer dwarf is up for 700k we bought we should have bought his pieces and made them we're gonna that's gonna be a thing so i'll sell that back i'll take a small loss <laughs> Damn it. maybe i'll angle. maybe i'll mutt sniper it and flip it for coins who knows good good jesus Sorry, Damn. That's, that's that's on me actually I, I you know i prematurely shot it was just i uh i got i got way too excited you, you, you let the hens loose. Yeah. All right. Tony, uh, tight end. Let's move on to tight end. You good? Yes. <laughs> Tony Gonzalez, most feared. 94 overall. He is currently up for 480K. I think that's a fine price for a playmaker. Yeah, 488 is his mudhead average. There we go. Purchased him. Nice. Very, very fast tight end. One that can go up there. Get jump balls. He's scary tall at 6'5", 86 speed, 80 strength, 81 run block. So in the past, they've kind of gypped him on run block, but this is a very good run blocking card as far as I'm aware. And uh, I, didn't real, I didn't realize we were saying uh, slurs about people in this in this video. <laughs> Gypsies? <laughs> so 81 run block. This, this is by far the best tight end in the game. There's not even anybody close. I like, would say, yeah. His this, catching this, stats are off the charts. Do I yeah. throw to anybody else? Do we even need receivers? God, yes. We're, we're gonna okay. As good as Gonzalez is, you're gonna you're gonna cream your pants on the wide receiver core again. Uh, again, again, <laughs> you've creamed it already. When I bought Dan Dudorf. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think the other half of your pants got creamed with a with a brown substance. All right, I'll, I'll uh, readjust. I'm gonna give you a white substance here in a little bit. Okay. So your, your, your backup tight end, we're going to go with the Evan Ingram most feared for speed. I don't know how much you use two tight end sets, but we'll, we're going to – basically, this is going to be part one of two videos where we'll, we'll talk through That's a good uh, point. the next ones This on the field. We'll go through that. Um, but moving on to the, the wide receiver core, one, number one is Randy Moss. Randy Moss, the 87 GOAT, right? Yes. Okay, sweet. Nah, boy, you better not get that 87. Get that 94. I already have it, man. It's an easy plug. <laughs> the, uh, the auction house is going so slow, so I'm stalling. But uh, 94 Randy Moss. Um, he brings he brings he brings a tear to a glass eye. Damn it! I can't. I don't have it. I don't have it. <laughs> I respect the fact that you're trying. Yeah. Randy yeah, I, Moss. I, I, I gotta get in the mood. 800k. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Watch, watch my Joe Thomas review from what is it Madden 16 or 17? That's that was the that was the only time I could do a uh, Southern accent. Nice little but, shameless plug there. Be sure to check it out. Yeah, it's 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 all I have, really. All right, this um, Randy Moss is on another level. 94 speed at 6'4", 93 catching, 90 elusiveness, 95 spectacular catch, 94 release, 93 route running with 88 catching in traffic, and 95 jumping. Playmaker chem as well. What a beast. He's gorgeous. And we're going to put in your slot, slot receiver, mm -hmm. Odell Beckham. Your guy, the best your receiver, receiver in the NFL. Uh, that, that, like... That's a bit of a strat. I think Julio is, but Odell is no slouch either. One healthy. Who would you take, Odell or Antonio Brown? I would take Odell. I think so. um, if I'm building a franchise for sure because of age, mm. but also I think um, Odell is. I think they're very very similar in terms of abilities. I think Odell is better in terms of going up and getting the football. Um, where he isn't as good of a route runner because I think Antonio Brown's the best route runner in the NFL. Odell is certainly a top five route runner. He's incredible. So I would take Odell over AB, but that's yeah. just that's personal. There is potentially bias there, but I don't know. I, I feel like I could make a very good argument for Odell. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean it's fair enough. Hey, oh, go. are you done with Odell? Yeah, oh, just gotcha. showing his stats now. Incredible. Okay. Next wide receiver to buy. And this is going to be your outside wide receiver. So you're going to be in a three wide receiver set. Okay. Dwight Clark. Really? With, with go deep chemistry. Interesting. All right. Now, really? he doesn't have the speed. And I haven't used this card. But looking at his stats, six foot four again. I like I like height on the outside. How's 374 look? 
it's his mud head average is 418 so so we're gonna buy that and it happens the, to be the correct the one as we it did yes yes i checked and it happened to be a steal good another really big receiver we got we got the tallest guys in the game and then well, odell yeah. is 511 nothing but the best for bengal yeah our 511 is going in a slot though so yeah that's no I'm just, I'm just saying because you know i was talking about tall receivers yeah very good option I think, I think Dwight Carter's going to play well for you. I mean, he's, you don't put him on, like, the cover four beaters, mm. but 89 speed is still pretty decent, especially for 6'4". And, and if you saw my speed testing video, the taller you are, the actual faster you move on the I field. I did see so, that one, yes. So it's, he, he essentially Moss has 90 speed. Tyreek Hill, if I recall. Yeah. And then a combo with both. It was, that was a good video, too. Another plug. Check it out. Eh, or don't. I mean, you don't have to. It's America. All right, it's let's true. move on to the halfback spot. Halfback. You, you've already got the best halfback in the game, Ladanian Tomlinson. True, 94. If you guys were not aware, I do have 94 in Ladanian Tomlinson. I do have some uh, some non-auctionable, non-tradable players that will be going to this team, as those were some of the parameters that I gave the Fox. Yep. So. And and what, what you're going to do, you need a goal line back to go with him. Mm -hmm. And your goal line back, I asked him three guys... He shot down my first two. That's correct. Um, the first two were Bettis and Blunt, and he didn't like either of those guys. Apparently, Bengals got a thing against uh, big people. It's okay, <laughs> Bengal. Um, so the third option is Adrian Peterson. We went with his trucking, and because Bengals got Bengals got kind of a little, uh, what would I say like a, a long, stiff rod for Peterson. He's kind of got what, what would I say a switch. Uh, <laughs> Not sure what you're talking about. Me neither. So Adrian Peterson's flashback, 90 overall, will be your goal back. Not the best, in my opinion, but a lot of people love this card. Yeah, he played really well for me in the Power of Peterson series, if you guys saw that. Um, mm -hmm. Very, very good player. And uh, he does have pound the rock chemistry. He does pound more than just the rock. But, you know, very good player. My favorite of all time. Happy to add him to the team. He's going to beat more than just defenses. In case people didn't catch that uh, pound um, pun that he put in there, I think that was about the child beating, right? <laughs> uh, did he have something involved with that? I hadn't, I hadn't heard. No, 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 no. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's how I got away with it for so long. So just people ignore it. Your quarterback, <laughs> the most important part of an offense. We're getting you a stud. I hate that you've played with him before. Um, but I don't think I, I think there might be one or two, maybe a little, a little bit different. But I think this is the best blend of speed, throw power, accuracy in the game. You're gonna get the Randall Cunningham go deep version. Go deep, okay. Yep. I, as soon as you said, and we did talk about this earlier, I did really want Randall Cunningham. How is th how is a six thirty sound, or should I build this one? Oh shit! Yeah, that's that's a uh, hundred twenty k over market value. You definitely want to build right, that. So I'm out. We're gonna go ahead and build this Randall Cunningham. Uh, he has some up for 490 with toughness, but I'm out on that. Very good player. 86 speed, 91 throw power, 86 throw accuracy short, 84 throw mid, 88 throw deep, with 92 throw on the run, 76 play action. Yeah. Decent and then you're going to be able to add throw power and throw deep onto him with uh, the go deep chem at tier two. Mm -hmm. um, so are you going to build that afterwards? You're building it now? Oh, we're going to build it afterwards. Okay. All right, so let's move into fullback. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, with the with the go deep chem, I had to get you a, a good fullback. And Kyle Juszczyk is uh, 90 overall. He's 150K, but we wanted somebody fast at fullback because you're going to run some I-form, and we wanted somebody that could run block um, and, and do a little bit of all because it seems like you'd like to run the I-form a little bit, right? Sure. <laughs> sure. There are currently none up, so we will come back to Juszczyk as well. Uh, when okay. we're building some of these players. So earmark that one, and, Kyle here, we, could try and, we could try an audible. A Ooh, okay. is too much, in my opinion. Let's see, what else? Let me let me get to, let me find a go deep. Uh, let's see. Have, uh, are you good with are you good with the eighty three Okoye? He's only got seventy six run block though. He's, he's definitely not terrible. Yeah. But I feel like we're we're we should wait and come back to it, perhaps. Okay. Alright, we'll come back. Let's move on to defense. Now, your safeties, you uh, you want a specific couple of guys. One is the 93 Earl Thomas, your favorite player, right? Second favorite current in the league, yes. Okay, so um, he is your free safety. I'm going to go ahead and put him in right now. Okay. Yeah, these, again, I said I set some parameters for Gut Fox. I'm not, you know, cheating here. <laughs> I want to play with certain players that I have. 
But uh, a bunch of these players are new. A bunch of these players did surprise me. Some of them did not. But Earl Thomas is in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and the thing is, like, you're not cheating against any rules. Like, I, yeah, I, there's no rules here that says you have to do anything. That's true. Yeah. So Maybe I just you... have autism. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, uh, I like all your choices for your players. I mm -hmm. think they all play phenomenal, the ones that you dictated to me. Sure. With the exception of one, and we're coming to them. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. We'll, 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 get, we'll get there in a little bit. Let's go. Your other safety position is another one that you told me that you wanted to use. Yes. And I agree that this is a great card, especially with Tier 1 Read and React. You're going to go ahead and get strong safety Ed Reed 91 overall. Really emphasis on that Read and React. Nice. That's, that's the kind of comedy that you get from Bengal. <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that puts him on top and the rest of us below. Don't forget it. Ed Reed, I got him for, I believe it was four ninety two just now. Okay. Seems like a decent enough price. 91 speed, 90 zone, 86 yeah. hit power, 80 man, and his zone will be boosted with Reed and React to a 91. So he well, should be could, phenomenal. If you get the team, I get you. you you'll get to tier three. So not Ooh. that it matters, but he'll go up to 92. Heck Yes. All right, let's move on to the linebacker core. Now, this is not this is not a core you told me anything about, so it's a Maya building. All I right, have so no idea who's going to be in it. So well, maybe so, I have an idea, but I we didn't yeah. converse about it. So what's going to happen with this linebacker core and your defense in general? You're going to use the middle linebacker. So I got you the best user in the game. And what you're going to do is go into the 46 package. So you get the Bengals playbook on defense, and you're going to go to the speed package. So your outside linebackers, I could get you better ones, but I got you the best linebackers because they will be in the game when you're in the four three wide nine okay. so i got you the best linebackers that are the best prices so like top tier linebackers for like the most efficient coin to performance linebackers in the game all right i'm in uh, all right right outside linebacker you're getting willie mcginnis read and react card. okay i'm in on that patriots yeah. i played with uh one version of his card i think it might have been the legend and he did play pretty well for me if i recall yeah like, so if, if we were going to get, like, the best overall card, I'd probably get you, like, a Derek Brooks type. Hmm. But he's going for three times the price, and you're not going to put the linebackers on the field every single down. So that's yeah. why I decided to go with McGinnis, who is two speeds slower, um, a little bit less on the play rec, a little bit less on all the stats, but still is I love the way this McGinnis card played for yeah, me. Yeah, got him for 240. Okay. 85 speed, 89 black shit, 90 power move, 87 finesse move, 86 hit power. When he's on the field, hopefully he's forcing a few fumbles for me if they don't have conservative on. Yeah, yeah. And, and even so, the conservative can drop the ball now. Oh, excellent. It is very nice. All right, so at left outside linebacker, I'm going to get you another very cost-efficient legend card in Charles Haley. Charles Haley, all right. Yeah. See, I like this card because, again, 86 speed is very good. You know, his zone coverage is a little bit less than you'd like to see. Uh, but the, the rest of the stats around the card, the block sheds high. If you want to rush him, power move at 92. Um, so he, he played fairly well for me. You know, 72 zone beats like the 65 threshold. I'm not so mm -hmm. sure what the low end threshold is for zone. I thought it was, I think it's 65, and the next one's like uh, 90, 91 for those two. But uh, again, he's going to be there kind of when you're in a 4 3 wide 9, and, and we'll see how he plays for you. He played well for me in coverage. And Pretty I'll good block play. shedding as well at 92, 92 yeah. power move. 89 hit power, 86 speed. Real good athlete there at 6'5", whatever he weighs. Probably about 250, 260. Yeah. And in, and in your 46, what you want to do is, like, uh, if, if your D-line gets tired, so we're going to want you to put on D-line aggressive first unless they <laughs> unless they fake hike the ball a lot. Then, and you'll sub him in to, like, pass rush. I got you a couple backup pass rushes, too, that you'll sub in. We'll get to that when we get there. Okay. The middle linebacker, the best user in the game, Anthony Barr. Ooh. Most feared. Now, a lot of people might say Ray Lewis is the move, but the problem with Ray Lewis is, yeah, he's one speed faster, but he's three inches shorter. I think Ray Lewis is 6'2", am I correct? Uh, I, I can't tell you offhand. I, I do know a lot of weird things. That is not one of them. Let me, let me go ahead and take a look at his most feared card. Ray Lewis's most feared is 6'1", sorry, so he's four inches shorter. He's one speed faster, uh, but I think the, the height more than makes up for one speed. Yeah, Andy's, Anthony Barr, 6'5", 87 speed, 90 hit power. Gorgeous. So, ideal user. Yeah. So you're going to be using him all the time. If if, if you were going to put a guy out into by, by himself, just leave him there, I'd tell you Ray Lewis. But since you're using Barr, that's the guy we're going. And then I'm going to need you a backup middle linebacker. Now I need you to get another read and react player. 
So I'm going to need you to get to Ryan Chazier's 84 overall core lead. Should be pretty cheap. Yeah, still a very fast player, though, as well. If he ever comes on the field, will he? Yeah. I'm not not sure. Let's what? go ahead. So, and also with these backup linebacker spots, middle linebacker two, right out to linebacker two, left out to linebacker two, will also be in your kickoff team. I'm not oh, going to yeah, get you kickoff. True. What's it? I said that's true. I, yeah. uh, I, can, I can figure that all out. So Shaz, so Shaz will also be in a kickoff team, which is nice because it's speedy get down the field. Um, but And if Barr ever gets too tired and has to get subbed out, which I don't think will ever happen to you, uh, but Shaz is a competent backup. And you're, and in people who don't know the difference between a 4-3 and a 3-4, basically four down linemen in the 4-3, three, three down linemen in a 3-4, and then reverse it for linebackers. So in the 4-3, you're not going to use linebacker number two for anything. Middle linebacker number two. Um... Let me know when you're ready on that. Oh yeah, I picked him up for fourteen seven. Good, good very, call. Very, very cheap price. All right, let's get on to your CBs. CBs. Okay, this is. I'm excited for this. We talked about one. I do want Darius Slay in my team somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. The 92. I upgraded it because for me, I like playing players that I like, and I know Darius Slay is one of my favorite guys in the league. When he gets upgraded, I'm going to have every card that he has because I just like Darius Slay, even though he doesn't hit that 91 zone threshold. But uh, he is one of the cornerbacks that I asked for on this team. Whether he starts or not remains to be seen. Yeah, so he, he I don't think it would be prudent to not start him because he's kind of expensive. Sure. I wouldn't. This this is what I, when I talked about earlier, the one guy that I um, had questions on is this Slay for 90 zone versus 91. But because I wanted to build your de uh, your defense around 91 zone. But we got Slay in here, so we're gonna use him and uh, we'll put him at CB number one for now or whatever. Okay. Your next guy to pick up, these all these cornerbacks are going to be, they're they're going to be legends, and I want you to get read and react on them, all of them. Okay, we'll go First ahead guy, and put that in right now. Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt. So we passed up for one Blunt at halfback in exchange for another, you know, one of the cool? best stealers of all time on that steel curtain defense. Mm -hmm. Are you cool with this blunt? Yes. Okay, because I didn't, I, I didn't know, because you know, you, you're all about uh, teaching kids for the future and, and to pass on drugs. So I figured <laughs> passing on one blunt was fine, but the second blunt, you said, if if somebody comes at you with two blunts, you got to say no to the first, but yes to the second, right? It's peer pressure. It's the way it works. How does seven hundred K sound? Seems like a lot. Um, let me take a look at what he is. Uh, Six fifty two is his average price in Mudhead. Um, we're going to come back to that. I'm either going to build that or just bite the bullet, but you guys will find out. Yeah. All right. You're, this next cornerback's the one that came out this weekend, so he's going to be pricey. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if you want to get him this weekend because he might be half this price next weekend. Eric Allen. Yeah. What do you think? Do you want to get a different corner? Do you want to get Barber this weekend and, and say F, F you Allen? Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to spend 1.35 on Eric Allen. Okay. But I could do, I could certainly do the Ronnie Barber. Yeah, go look at Barber then. The thing is, the thing is, without Allen and his two-time zone chemistry, mm -hmm. you'll have to sub out. Uh, you have to sub in Slay. Well, actually, no. I think I got, I got a solution for you. Go okay. ahead and go, go ahead and get Barber. Six forty. Does that sound good? Um, I'm gonna have to redo this. Bar. Yeah, six forty is a little bit more expensive. You should be around six, but uh, six. Yeah, I mean, one card goes for 645, 1590, 1600, 1630. Yeah. 640 seems fine then. A little bit over what he goes for, but I am, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. Uh, so, Rondé Barber in the team, 91 speed, 91 man, 94 zone, 93 mm -hmm. press. Decent player. Yeah, decent, right? Mm -hmm. Just decent. All right. Next guy you're going to get, Rod Woodson's read and react. Now, for people that are wondering why we're getting all these great cornerbacks, we're going to have Rod Woodson and Mel Blunt subbing in the speed package. Well, actually, it's looking like Darius Slay will be our subbing in the piece speed package. Since Woodson's, we're going to start Woodson, we're going to start with a read and react. We can sub in Slay at one for Woodson, but uh, we'll just go like this. So that way, it's easier for you. Went ahead and bought him for 255 Nice. 90 speed, 90 man, 89 zone, which will go up to 91, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Wow. Exactly correct. Pretty good Yeah, 255 there. Yeah, he's. This is one of the best values to high end performance that you'll get on the field, uh, in mutt. Because and I get a good returner potentially as well. Yeah, I got you a specific returner. I don't want to. I don't okay. want to fatigue any of our guys. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, two fifty five for him. He normally goes for two sixty eight. So good deal there, Bengal. Excellent. 
That's how I rock them. I am the true mud sniper. Don't let any of your other bearded adversaries tell you different. Yeah. Uh, we, we pity those fools. Don't ever stand in your way. All right, your D-line's going to be stacked. Okay, Absolutely. I'm in. What position right are we starting with? Let's start with the right end. You're getting Calais Campbell's football outsider card. Ooh. Okay. Block shed 94, finesse move 95. He is a beast. Yeah. He's oh. going to eat. I have Legends program still up. All right. Calais Campbell is currently... Okay. Um, no, I've seen him for way cheaper. I'm not buying this one for 1.4 mil. Oh, no, definitely not. No. He should be 575. I know. <laughs> All right, All right we'll so come, we'll no back. Calais Campbell for now. We'll come back okay. to it. All right, go to, <laughs> Jesus. Go go to go, we'll get left end Khalil Mack. This is one that you wanted. I did. I'm a big Khalil Mack guy. You guys who are regulars of the channel and even those who are just passing through, you'll know. I'm a sack attack from the silver and black kind of guy. That's a fact. Damn, that was hot. Oh, it's I've sure, said it. Sure I've said it thousands of times. Are you sure you didn't uh shoot Tupac because uh, <laughs> Jesus. it was a rap battle thing? Um, I shot him, but I didn't kill him. Oh. He's still out there. Where is he? Cuba? Detroit. I, I was going to say Cuba. I'm like, I wanted to come up with a weird place. I was going to say Re Reno. It's kind of a <laughs> shitty place. And then I said yeah. Detroit. And I'm like, uh, that was I wasted it. Whatever. Cleo Mac for 577. Uh, I'll check his price. Hang on. 580 is a normal normal price. Go ahead. Give it a good shot. There we go. One of my favorite players in the league. Love is this he, guy. Wait, wait, who's number one? Who's your favorite? Adrian Peterson. Oh. Is he really? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Number number two, Earl Thomas. Yeah, number two, Earl Thomas. Number and then it's kind of... It, the, the lines are a bit blurred after that, but I have a few in that range. Khalil Mack, Odell Beckham Jr., Olivier Vernon, DRC... Guys like I've that. never, I've never, I've never known you to be one so wishy-washy on something like that. Like I feel like you'd be definitive, uh, ranking. Well, things. it like, used to be, you... but I stopped thinking about it as much. Now I just know players near the top, but I, I don't rank really after that. Mm. So you've lost that edge, apparently, but not this edge, as we get a sick edge rusher in Cleo. <laughs> Whoa, baby! Whoops. There it is. Uh, <laughs> let's uh. Let's let all right. Let's get a different right end for you, since obviously Calais Campbell isn't working. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to decide between. I don't. I don't think I want Dent for you. Dent would be great. I kind of want to. I kind of want to get you into a Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor used to be one of my favorite players in the league, so I am not opposed to that at all. All right. Four fifteen read and react, for Jason read and react. Yeah. He's looking pretty good. I only worry about his 89 block shed. That's five points lesser than Calais was. Mm -hmm. So you're going to... He's not going to hold and shed on the right side as much as we'd want. And But... If he we'll becomes if a problem can. child, we can, you know, send him to the kennel or whatever you do with <laughs> problem Love children. Love it. Kennel, Jesus. All right. Did that tell you your DT yet? I don't think so. All right. Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe. Already there. Sees the only 92, 93 in the game. We getting read and react? Yes. 587 for him. Oh, Jesus. Really? Is that, Feels like a lot for an old legend. Yeah, I guess that's about... He normally goes for 540. I think it's because he's one of the only... He's the best... The highest block shedding uh, defensive tackle in the game. And he is so good. You can never see him coming. Based on his car, you can't even see his face. It's just black. He's like one of those unlockable characters that you don't have yet. 587 for something. the meanest defensive tackle in the league. Yeah, Love I mean, like maybe Sub-Zero, maybe it's a Scorpion, maybe it's a Bo Ray Cho. Maybe I know way too much Mortal Kombat for my own good. Maybe we're moving on. I, I, you said you said we move on like like that is an issue, but I don't think anybody's ever said I know too much Mortal Kombat. I'm a, I'm a big proponent of the game. I uploaded a little bit of it to this channel. Those videos, I think, over several months, encompassed a combined like 90 views. Yeah. So they were doing well, that's, they were doing pretty well. That's twice my channel. So you yeah, I mean you're just a superstar. <laughs> yeah. It's what so, I do. I wasn't always a superstar. I was just a star for a while. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, how does it how does it feel like now that you're on top, it, you got nowhere else to reach for? It feels it, familiar, first of all. Okay. But um 
you know, you just keep raising the bar when yeah. other people can't even reach that level. And you just keep ascending into the heavens. Uh, I'm, right, I'm right up there with Jeebus. Jeebus. Yeah, Jeebus. Jeebus Creepers. I don't yes. know what that means. But your defensive tackle, too. <laughs> Leonard Williams, left end. He is the highest block shed defensive lineman in the game. Ray Lewis is, like, strangely the highest block shed person in the game. I think uh, block shed should be way higher for um, for linebackers. I think they get shafted. Because, like, think about how linebackers shed blocks to make tackles. How's 324 sound for Leonard Williams, though? Mm, sounds about right. I mean, yeah, it should be 285. All right, mm. let's wait for a bit. So, okay, someone just turned the shower on. I don't know if you can hear that. But I imagine is that, is that a rare is that a rare occurrence at your place? Why is that so surprising? Uh, it's just I I didn't expect it at this moment. Oh, because you, you weren't invited. <laughs> I just it's gonna pick up on the mic. So oh, do you okay. mind? I don't want to make you wait. Well, no, I guess I we're we're I'm almost. I'm fine with it. We're we're almost done. We're almost done. Yeah, I gotta build the players anyway. If I could just build, in the meantime, I'm building what blunt. Yeah, I got three more players for you to pick up. Then you can build and then uh, finish off the video. All right, we'll do we'll do that. Well then, I don't care about the shower. Actually, six more players. I don't I don't care either. I can barely hear it. Yeah. Okay. It's it's relaxing. R running water is it's nice. Like <laughs> some people like the rain. Maybe it's, some people are tuning in right now to this video, and they're hearing this rain in the background, and they're like, "This is my jam. I like this guy. There's no <laughs> wonder he's number one." So that's a good point. Vernon, eighty-five. You're gonna get this mutt hero card, um, the eighty-five Vernon, because he's got such high power move. You're going to sub them in when your first defensive line... Remember I said I'm going to have your defensive line set on aggressive until they fake hike you yes. and they, they get you off sides once? So he's going to come in late in the game. Him and these other three goons I'm going to give you, other two goons I'm going to give you, and this Mary Band of three are going to get some sacks for you in the, in the fourth quarter when the rest of the line is all tired. All right, I'm in. So all right. just got Olivier Eight. Vernon. Okay. Jadavion Clowney. Did I, did I get him? Yeah, I totally did. All right. Ooh, get, the clown Clowney. vis on the team. Is 85, get him. Okay, he is about on the team. I, I gotta come back to the Leonard Williams. I think I mentioned that in this video already. Yep, yep. But I'm not spending like 60 or 70K over for him. No, Whatever it ended up being. Yeah. So Jadavian Clownvis is now on the team. All right, and then Bosa's 85, it will also. Uh, I hear that thing one. eats. Yeah. All right, in comes Joey Bosa, who makes the most of his opportunities. Love it. Mm, I, I'm, not I'm, my best. I'm thinking about getting. Uh, I'm not. I, I think I'm thinking about getting you the Suggs, but he's 94 blocks. He doesn't have the pass rush. I think I'm just think I'm just gonna leave you. The, I, I don't know which one of those four that you're gonna leave in the game. I think when you sub out these, when you sub these three in, you could probably just leave Mean Joe and then sub these guys in for your ends and your DT two. Okay. Uh, if you ever need to do that pass rush situation, generally I like to do it on like a nickel formation. Like a, I have a, I use a two four five, but you can do nickel normal, and then sub in the Vernon, Clowney, and Bosa, and just use that one formation, and I call like a cover four with it, and in a, like a pass commit situation, and, I, and those guys like the, the brush gets home in like two to three seconds. With I'm, those in, I'm in on that. Big fan. I love it. So your defense, once you get all those guys together is set. We are going to work on special teams, then I'll let you build the thing and finish the video. All right, sounds good. All right, your special team is is probably your favorite specialist in the entire NFL from just my knowledge of you and, well, we talked about it a little earlier, Marquette King. Oh, yes, yes. I was thinking about returners there for a minute. I'm like, like who is my favorite returner? But yes, I, I'm a big fan of Marquette King. His football outsider is 230. That's about right. I'm, I'm getting it. Hey, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm getting it. It is a punter. How often do you punt? I've never punted in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a fourth down. All right. All right. Do you want to get this core elite for 85? Nope. Already got it. <laughs> go big or go home. All right. Awesome. You're, you're, uh, what's great about what, what I like about this Marquette King and, and why I'm kind of glad you got him is kickoff starter. He's going to be on your kickoff. You're going to take him down the field. You're going to run down the field with his... 82 speed. Yeah, with 82 speed. He flies. And you, what? Huh? Did you, say, did you say something? I say he flies, as in he's are they, quick, quick. I thought you said gut fox. I'm like, what? Oh. Oh. No. Gotcha. <laughs> your kicker. Mm -hmm. Just 
you, you, you like you like people with horns, so we're gonna get you Justin Tucker. Yes, Justin Tucker. He is five seventy seven. Hold on, let me let me confirm. That's his quick. Thursday night though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Three hundred K for his base. Yeah. That's the one you want, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, two ninety nine is even better than he usually goes for. Whoa. There Whoops. it is. Whoops, that's a mistake. All right, here we go. Eighty seven kick power, eighty nine kick accuracy. Might as well be a 99 because he went to Texas. Hook him horns. There we go. And the thing about this card is he's got clutch kicker, so you're not going to get iced ever. Love it. Yeah, it's great. I prefer I, my favorite one is the focus kicker because it goes slower for Anvinatari, mm -hmm. but uh, Justin's your guy, and he's got uh, better kick power. Okay, I'm in. Love it. All right, your kick returner is going to be somebody fast, elusive, somebody you can kind of shift back and forth with. He's not going to be one of your starting wide receivers because we want to, uh, or or corners or anything like that, because we want to keep their stamina up. Deshaun Jackson, most fear. d -Jax. okay. He's someone that, uh, you know, I really do fear as a returner. He literally gave me nightmares for a while. Uh, what, what, the other thing about this card, though, He's not going to be starter wide receiver for you, so we're going to keep his keep his uh, stamina, and he's got a 92 speed. So he's also going to be your, if you want to learn cover four and cover three bombs, he's going to be your guy or your moss, depending on their stamina at the time. Yeah, he has some decent speed. 92 on yeah. this D-Jax. Picked him up for, what was that, 130? Yeah, that's under market price. Nice work. There we go. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Make sure to check out Got Fox. Got Whatever the it's fuck fine. his name is, no, it no, doesn't it, matter. It, He's not me. That's the more. That's that's the bottom line. Dude, if it, Bengal, I can't I can't help you if you get also charged for like enticing people to see me because it's <laughs> hashtag it's dodge the issue in the past. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, that's all for Gut Fox. I'm gonna finish this by myself. Put everyone in the lineup, and then uh, build these players. So again, thank you. And um, yeah, there's gonna be a kind of a part two and a part. I guess a part two of this where we actually take this team on the field and Gut Fox helps me be good at the game. Uh, I want to win games now. It's going to be a blast. Yes. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I don't know why I'm outroing it. It's I'm not leaving. But. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right.